Welcome to my story hour. I'm Kathy Ramsberger. I am a lifelong journalist, humanitarian, and the author of the award-winning The Shores of Our Souls and the upcoming A Thousand Flying Things, which is already one too. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm also a coach who founded Ground One and created Step Into Your Story. And I am here for people who love books to connect to other people who love books. Uh, I don't run the gamut here, however. I concentrate on transformational stories of international interest, multicultural relations, and social justice that focus on the connections and sometimes the disconnections between human beings. We all have them. Um, and our guest, Anjukatani, today, her novel covers all these themes and more. Um, and I'm delighted because we have similar life paths and there are sim they're, they're similarities, comparisons in our books. We'll touch on that in our discussion. So welcome, 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 Anju. Thank you, uh, Kathy. Is I'm so excited to be here. Truly honored. I am one, the one that's honored because um, show everybody your beautiful book cover. Um, Dynasties launches day after tomorrow. Um, and I'm so honored to have you here at the beginning of its huge success. It's going to be a huge success worldwide. Um, <laughs> It is. So here we are. And I'm so honored to be one of the first to say it's going to be as successful as it's going to be, is my prediction. Usually, uh, Kathy, I have something to say, but I'm just speechless of what you said. So I'm just going to soak it all in and say in Hindi what we um, say when we hear something which is just amazing, which Tumare Mu Me Ghi Shakkar. Mm -hmm. which is Indian for um, the, the golden words kind of literally translated as, you know, ghee, which is butter and sugar um, in your mouth, which is because of all mm -hmm. the sweetness that you're saying. So richness for you, wealth to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is that we mature? Wonderful. Okay. So one amazing thing that we're going to be doing other than this great Bollywood bash that we're doing Friday night um, and celebrating you and your series um, is um, having a silent auction. And you have uh, been so kind as to show us, give us a little preview. So in honor of the 20 year journey and to finally celebrate um, all the effort, you know, I, I didn't just want it to be about the books and the characters and myself. I wanted it to, to be about the readers. And we talk about, you know, cultural stories and immersive stories. So I thought, well, why not immerse the reader in the story and the Winds of Fire series? So this is the mega swag bag giveaway, if I can hold it straight. Um, it's beautiful. So to say, just tell us what it says on the front. It's a it little, says, there's a little glare. There we go. In the five series presented by Anju Gatani um, with the logo for all the books that are in the Winds of Fire series. And then in this little hamper, what we have is a wedding invitation to Rakesh and Sheetal's wedding, which is how the entire series begins. That's a foundation. And I'm going to pull out. So you have a QR code to my website. So if you want to scan that, you can scan that as well. And we're going on a cruise because um, that's one of the aspects of the book. Here. That's a wedding invitation itself. Oh, so beautiful. And then what you have here is all the characters who are in the series. And you'll see them kind of weave in and out of the series, you'll meet some of them in book one and then two, and then you won't meet some again until book three, but they're all listed down here. These are the real key players. And they're all listed here as is with any family. Um, 
And then we have the experts and advisors who helped me with the series. They're listed here too. So we had two fashion designers from India, Arjun Khanna and Anita Dongre, who actually designed the wedding outfits for the two characters, along with all the stuff they wear at social elite events. Those wedding outfits. Oh, that was just worth its weight in gold. I, yep. I was just salivating really at what uh, at the how that wedding must have been. Imagined all in the imagination, but hey, the designers, you know, they told they they actually put together the costumes and coordinated it so that Rakesh wore what he did. It was designed by Arjun Khanna himself. And she wore what she did, which was designed by Anita Dongre herself. And I was just blown away. And, you know, my sister, um, Dr. Shruti Daga, she is the medical advisor for the entire series. So she's a doctor in the UK and she helps me out with all the research and kind of helps me navigate. Um, and then we have a Pilates instructor who helped me with Sheetal's Pilates in the book. And then we have um, an established sort of licensed professional counselor therapist um, in Atlanta who guided me on the books I needed to read to understand about trauma, PTSD, abuse, and all those aspects, um, you know, which which really need required a mountain of research and still does. Yes, it's, it is. It, it's a mountain of information and it's in its infancy, understanding trauma and PTSD. Yes, it is. Um, and so to complement that, I wanted to make it real. So I have little RSVP envelopes um, included in the swipe pack. And what I did was I have bookmark for you. So you can put that in your little book as you're reading it with my QR code and social media and a little business card um, because, hey, we're doing it. We're in business now. So <laughs> I thought, why not? With a you know, series it's, like this one, you're in business. Yes. Yeah, especially when it's, RS, it's an RSVP card, right? You got to make it real for the reader. Yeah. And so I thought, why not? And um, that's just that's just the paper products. Now we get into the real fun stuff. So if you go on my website and you look at the series banner um, under books, you'll see that the Winds of Fire series has very distinct colors of black, orange, red, and gold. And so I had these Indian silk scarves, dupattas, mm -hmm. um, tie dyed. And this is in, in Jaipur, it's known as bandej. So this is a specific design with these little white dots. So I have these dyed to the color of the series banner. Mm -hmm. And so you can drape this around yourself in winter, spring, summer, whenever it's pure silk. And then to make it fun and interactive. Um, so when, when I was growing up, the books that I really loved reading was Choose Your Own Adventure. I couldn't get enough of them. I totally agree. I read some of those to my kids. I, I was, I think I was too old actually to, to, to have experienced them myself, but my kids loved them. So I didn't want the series just to be an external, you know, boring, like read the book, flip the page and, you know, you get to the end of the story. I want it to be real. So what I did was I designed these little packets in organza pouches. Oh, that's each one has an instructional card. So this is specific for book one dynasties where I'll kind of tell you, you know, for your married pleasure, park this note card at chapter 10 and sneak a peek of um, your married life with Rakesh Dhanraj and as an Indian woman, then of course you would wear, possibly wear a bindi. So there's a bindi packet for you, mm. a bangle, which um, matches the dupatta included. And that's, again, for book one dynasties. And then there's another one here, which connects with chapter 10. Or, no, this one is chapter 20. So now you celebrate Diwali with the Dhanrajas. And so what is it like? What is it like to fill this beautiful Leah with oil? I'm bringing it alive. I'm sorry I interrupted. Keep no, going. no, 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 no. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, I have to include the wicks. I forgot the cotton wicks in here. You can see how good I have. <laughs> you know, um, there's a dia and there's instructions on how to light the dia. And then of course, read this chapter in particular by the light of the dia and bring the night of Diwali to life. So that's for book one. And then, you know, you, you don't have to just do that, right? It can be a little ritual. Yeah, 
You can whenever you Together want. Together and do it. Mm -hmm. Then book two, whenever book two comes out. So the hint is pink, the Rani pink color. That's going to be significant mm -hmm. to book two. And remember, I told you about um, the festival of honoring a marriage. So now there are two little note cards here. This one is to honor your marriage. So you need all the swag from book one. So that continues. And then you've got to park this on the chapter seven, and then you can honor your marriage to Rakesh and Raj with all the swag. And then we have chapter 32. You park this note card at chapter 32 and hold on to it because if you lose this, you may not escape. Ooh. <laughs> and wow. And along with that honoring your marriage business, we have a chunuri kapra, which is like a, a special cloth that we um, perform the ritual with on that specific fast day. And I'm not going to give it away because it's in the book. And a special little thread, which is again a religious thread, which you tie, tether the cloth to what it needs to be tied to. Then for book three, whenever book three comes out, which is a work in progress still. One for each book. One for each book. I've only got the first three books. There are more books to come and I'll, I'll figure those out. We then have book three, the title of book three is Never Again. So I'm revealing that for the first time on your show. And again, there's a note card to park at chapter 15. So you put that on chapter 15, park it. And now you're stuck because you have no money. Uh oh. And then this one is to park at chapter 39. And of course, now we're introducing a Western festival into our Indian society. Awesome. Christmas bubble. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, you, you play along. And you know, it's just, like I said, I want it to be a completely immersive cross-cultural read for the reader and take them um, to this, through this journey that I've been trapped in for 20 years. And mm -hmm. I still am. It's so real for me. Yeah. And I thought, you know, instead of just talking about what it's like to be in India, live in India, or be in an Indian marriage, and why not let the reader experience it for herself or himself and Absolutely. have the flavor? Absolutely. Well, you're certainly bringing it to life. And there are little hints in there. You little know? hints in there, yeah. And, you know, then you've got, of course, the little swag bag, which was also made in India, which I love <laughs> because it was um, designed and I had a, I had a blast um, putting the the entire package together i'm absolutely certain you did and yet i'm certain it was an incredible amount of creativity and work that went into it so thank you some lucky 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 person pulpwood queen or timber guy is going to get this amazing amazing gift from yep. and we're, we're giving away i think i'll be giving away um three of these packages throughout the conference that's so, so fantastic one is for the um the silent auction and you know let that go where it needs to with the highest bid and of course the other two will be um as kathy figures out when it needs to i think one will be on the launch of the windsor fire series night itself mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's a plan and that's the excitement for me as well so you know everybody hey you never know what you can do with this, but they make great scarves. They make great decor. And in the winter, you know, it's the vibrant colors of India. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm certain it's more beautiful, all of it in person. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I can't wait to um, share it with all of you. And Pulp Book Queens and Timber Guys, just look what we're, what this is just a little glimpse of what, um, you're going to experience there uh, this coming weekend, January 13th through 15th. Mm -hmm. So if you're not joining us, see what you're missing. <laughs> and for those who are the authors, I cannot wait to meet everybody. This is, mm -hmm. you know, Kathy's gonna... biggest gift to me to honor me with the biggest book launch I could have never even imagined ever. Uh, I'm, I'm well deserved that. though. Well deserved. Um, I'm just speechless. And, you know, after having written for 10 years and been published as an, as a journalist for 10 years and not ever really having met another writer, 
Um, I only started meeting writers when I became a novelist and started writing the fiction book and attending conferences. I so, didn't know that. Thank you for telling us that. Yeah. So I don't think anyone can appreciate the value of meeting another writer or reader more than I can. Because I know what it's like to be a fish swimming in that tank all by yourself and thinking, is there anyone else out there like me? Um, do you have characters who talk to you? Do you know how to put a <laughs> plot and a synopsis? There are plenty of us. <laughs> there is not just me that, that does that. There are plenty of us. Um, but there's something about the the siblinghood between people that just it, and it's not the acronyms it's not the the plot devices it's it's about that place inside of us that where stories live and uh and you had to keep that burning for 10 years while you waited for this community so no wonder this is it, it's it's we need a parade we do. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just excited to be able to share the journey with everybody. And, you know, it, it's a rigorous journey. It continues to be because there are more books to explore in the series. It, it's always a blank sheet of paper. Yeah. People think it's not, that it gets easier. It doesn't. It doesn't. It gets harder. Yes, it does. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, I, I'm looking forward to... Uh, seeing not just Anju, but all of the Pulp Wood Queens and Timber guys who will join us this weekend. Uh, as you watch this, we will have just finished it. You'll be watching it on the 19th. Um, but please, please, please um, come back to my author page and see the fun we've had because you can experience vicariously to a certain degree. And Maybe you'll come next time. We want to see you there. We want to see everyone. We do. We do. So in closing, thank you, Anju. Um, other readers, you can join me here every third Thursday at my Facebook page, interviewing authors, wonderful authors. Um, we're broadcasting a pre-recording today, and you'll be watching January 19th but I will be here at 4 p.m. to answer your questions or your comments. Um, you can find all my interviews archived on my YouTube and Facebook page. You can find out more about Anju and her work, as she said, anjugatani.com. Just look at what you have in store for you. You've gotten a sample today. And you can find more about me and my work at katherinebrownramsberger.com. It's a very new website that combines my coaching and my, my books. And I'm excited to see what you think of it. And groundonecoaching.com. There'll be a link to Ground One on the main page. And if I can just add, I'm reading Kathy's book, The Shores of Our Souls, and I'm having emotional problems because I cannot put it down. <laughs> don't, I, don't have I'm, emotional problems. Yes, I'm, having, you know, I'm sitting up one at night when I can't sleep thinking one more page, one more page won't harm me. Come on, one more page. And then I'm like, another page, another page won't kill me. Come on. It's only 1 a.m. in the morning. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm so downable. Um, you have to get her book and read it and do better than I am. Oh, you're doing just great. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, everybody stay tuned for more news about our February story hour. We'll have Janae Sakin uh, and her novels uh, all about the art of photography and, and Afghanistan. Um, and until then, I want to say so long. Um, wishing you and yours a very happy 2023. If you're traveling to meet us in Florida, safe travels. No matter what, I wish you a great book to read, maybe on a comfy couch this month. See you soon. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Kathy.